it's one thing I don't like. I don't like a smelly man. I don't, I don't like a stinky stank man. It's not cute. It's not attractive. Oh, well, well, I'm a man, so I have to smell manly and musty and that get musty. It's, it's manly to smell musty. Babe, no, it is not. No, it is not. Oh, baby, who, 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 who's being, who's being attracted to this? I don't know what women, I don't know who you're attracting with that, but babe. Pick up the soft soap, pick up some dial, some Irish Springs. I promise you, I promise you, it won't make you any less masculine if you do. Oh no, no, oh no, no. I can't, I can't smell like, I can't use that soap. It, it will make me smell like daisies and blossoms. I can't. What's wrong with, what, what, like what? Like what's wrong with that? Like, oh my God. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Navi, and welcome back to my channel. And of course, if you're new here, welcome baby, I'm very glad you're here. For this video, I really want to address an issue that affected me especially for a good six months of my life last year. Yeah, six months. Six months of my life, this issue has affected me and it also affected other people too because this was an issue, like a huge, huge issue, okay? And it needs to be addressed. And in that six months, Nobody else really addressed it the way I would have liked to address it. So I'm gonna address it here, right now. But before I get into this issue, if you guys could please help the cause and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course watch the end of this video. We have a very imminent issue that we need to discuss today. I'm very glad that you came. And it's about, it's about men and their hygiene. Now I want to make this as safe of a space as possible because I understand that we are all different and we all come from like different backgrounds. So I, I, I'm gonna try to hold some space for for some grace, okay? But this is an issue that, that needs to be, this, it needs to be addressed, it, it needs to be addressed. So what is it? What, what, what is it? What is it? Why, why are, why are we so, men, why are we so afraid of hygiene? Why are we afraid of it? Why are we afraid to touch soap and water? Soap and water is, is a miracle. It's a wonderful thing. It can be a miracle even sometimes. It's, it's wonderful. It's great. You got soap and then you got water. Water, a natural resource. It's natural. It's meant for us. Smelling like the outdoors and sweat and body odor, that's not manly. You just stank. You just stank. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I worked as a customer service clerk. Did you guys know that? Little fun fact. Before we get started, just a little fun fact about myself. I worked as a customer service clerk at this laptop shop on my campus where we fixed school computers and specifically the computers that my school gives out to the students that go there. I worked as the customer service clerk. That's right. Your typical Apple IT tech worker. That was me for a good solid six months, I think. Six or seven, maybe. Anyways, I worked around mostly men. Not a lot of girls, not a lot of feminine women, not a lot of feminine presenting people there. And there was this one guy I worked with in particular who, what's, what's a good way to describe this smell? Because, oh my God, oh my God. It was this one guy in particular that I worked with that stank okay like when i say i don't mean like every day like average body odor oh no 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 we we have progressed we well progressed past that at this point this was like like next like on some next level like like boss level type shit you know a boss level on a video game this was boss level bo like this was like the the, the king the, the boss battle of bo okay y'all it was so bad i cannot describe it in words on here like you just had you just had to be there you just had to be there it was bad enough 
to the point where while I was working there, one of the hot topics or the hot secret topics rather of the office was, was the BO. Like if there was one thing that I could talk about with literally any coworker I worked with there, despite the difference between me and a lot of them, because most, like I said, I worked with mostly men and they were all like computer science majors, engineering majors. I think there was like one math major, random, but okay. But then you had me, a communication major, don't ask how I wound up there either. I could go and talk to anybody despite our differences, our difference in personalities, our difference in majors, and we could all come to one consensus. This guy reeked. Like, it was bad. It was bad. You know it's bad when literally if I say, oh my God, you know that, you know that smell from that one person? And then somebody's like, that's bad, that's bad, like you're notorious. During meetings, our boss, my boss, there would be times where they would bring up hygiene as one of the topics. We we still discussed the stuff that needed to be discussed, like, oh, okay, yeah, this computer is having a bug issue, so if somebody comes in having like this issue, this is what you need to do. We still discuss like the logistics of like our job, but when hygiene becomes a topic of discussion in a meeting, Baby, you, you, it's like you, you make it a mark, you make it a mark, but it's not the right one. You're making an impact, but it's not, it's not the impact that you think you want to make. And that's not the kind of impact that, that's not the kind of impact that you want. It's not the kind of look that you want. They even offered to buy this guy soap or literally anyone who needed soap and was just in like a hard time of need and needed hygiene products like soap, deodorant, shampoo, any of that stuff. If you needed it, they were willing to provide it to you. That's how nice, that's how nice this company that I worked for was. My bosses, they were like, hey, we get it. You guys are college kids. We are willing to help you guys out if you really, really, really need it. And you just really can't afford to get like, to spend like a dollar or two on some soap. We will give that to you. And this person did not take the offer. Matter of fact, they didn't take any of the hints that like, would get like would progressively get more and more and more obvious and like hello there was this one time during a meeting and i will never forget this i told my roommate about this and we were on the floor about this so we had a meeting i was there everyone else was there stanky wanky was there we were all i just i just so happened to notice that when i was sitting there and i was like listening to them talk it was very boring i didn't i didn't take up a word of what they said. I was sitting there and I was looking around the room, looking at like everyone's placement and position and like, you know, like just, just scouring, just, just, just surveilling the area, right, right? I noticed one particular thing. So this is, okay, so this is the room, right? This is the room. Everybody was on this side and then Stanky Wanky was on this side. Why was everybody on this side and then one person just, just over there? Mind you, the room, the room is small. The room was very small. There was like two desks with four chairs, two chairs at each desk. There was some um, like, not really couches, but like lounge cushions on the side, on each side. And then of course, like a, a, like a table or two. Everybody gathered to one side. And I knew it was bad because there was this one person, not Stanky Wanky, not Stanky Wanky. There was this one person who was sitting on the floor in front of me, crisscross applesauce, mind you. There were open seats next to the guy that stank. Nobody wanted to sit there. Now, me personally, I love being alone. I love having my personal space. So I know he must have been having a field day that day, having like the whole, like, just, just all that space to himself. Oh yeah, I would love that too. But if I knew the reason why people didn't want to sit near me, I would be crushed. I would be crushed. I would be crushed. Like I would, like, I would have to think, okay, something's not right here. Because not only that, but it's like, you at least have like a friend or two on your job or like in class. You, you at least have like one friend that you can talk to. I didn't really talk to anybody, but I knew he talked to more people than I did. Like I saw it. he interacted with people. So I'm like, okay, if he has friends, what are his friends doing? What, what are, why are his
his friend sitting next to me smelling like roses and daisies and cherry blossoms, because that's the kind of perfume I use, why aren't they sitting with him? And then I think, oh my God, they are picking it up too, like he stank. And to this day, to this day, he never got the hint, never got the hint. And I can't help but wonder, what is it with guys avoiding hygiene? Like, there's women that 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 do have some questionable hygiene routines too. I, I get that. So it's not just a male issue. It's also in some of the women. Like, we, we have our issues over here too. But to the degree that this guy had, like, I don't think you guys, I know y'all don't understand because I'm trying my best to explain it to you, but y'all weren't there. I was there. If y'all were there, maybe you would get it, but y'all weren't there. So I'm doing my best to try to explain this because that's how bad it was. I understand that we all, we all have our demons and we all have our struggles. But this dude, when, when somebody offers you help and you decline it, like you, you, you literally don't, you just choose not to take the help that somebody tries to offer you to fight those demons, then it's not really so much a, oh, well, I mean, what can he do? No, he could do something. He chose to come to work every day wearing the same light, like the same must, same smell, same skunk, same stank. He chose to come to work every day with the same funk, not us, and would not touch a single shower. I just, I just can't help but wonder if part of toxic masculinity is choosing not to smell good, like choosing to avoid perfumes and lotions and body scrubs, body gels, like all of that stuff. The stuff that like, the stuff that like the feminine people use. Is this that part of it? Like, do y'all do you just like have, like you just can't, you just absolutely can't touch it. I don't like I don't understand I'm not like please help me understand because I don't understand and while this was a very bad experience I will say something else he was not the only one he was the one that smelled the worst but he wasn't the only one because one day when I was on the job I was trying to avoid said stanky wanky and I stood near somebody else and they stank too and I was like this can't be you this can't be you. Like I was standing, we, I was trying to help, we, I was trying to help a customer and the guy that I was standing next to, I leaned in and then I leaned away and then I leaned back in and then I leaned away. And I was like, something's not right here because when I lean in, I smell something. When I, when I lean away, I don't smell anything. So like, what, what, what's going on here? Like what, what, it can't be, it can't be. It can't be. And to this day, I still refuse to believe that it was them. There was another incident where the guy, after he left, this girl from the back came up and said that there was a smell that had been making her eyes burn the entire morning. And I didn't really smell it, but then again, I wasn't really near him that day. I chose to work far as hell away, that's for sure. But she smelled it, probably because he was near her area. And next thing you know, she walks to the front with a can of Febreze and just starts lighting the place up with it because that's how bad it was. That, that's bad. That's, that's insane. That's insane. But what's even more insane is the fact that this all could have been solved with two ingredients, soap and water soap and water and and of course and of course a rag a rag a, a shower rag a shower cloth a douche whatever just just get something get something and, and just 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 scrub okay just scrub it all could have been solved with soap and water and maybe a hose maybe a hose for ki for shits and giggles maybe a hose and i know what you're thinking navi whatever happened to this guy what what happened to stanky wanky and stanky wanky's partner what happened to these people what what happened to these dudes and i'm gonna be so honest with you I have no effing clue at all because I left that place not specifically for that reason I just I left the job because it really didn't make sense for me to be like working there with computers and stuff and I didn't know what I was doing I don't know if this video could necessarily be considered a story time or an advice video or just or a thoughts video or, or better yet all three at the end of the day I know life gets hard life is hard a matter of fact I, I, let me scratch that life is hard it's hard. It's hard out here in these streets. But no matter how hard life gets, I just want you guys to know it's not okay to just let yourself go like that. Don't don't let yourself go like that. Don't don't. And and it's not it's not toxic to smell like roses and daisies. Can we like can we please like implement that into like the the, the guidebook for, for for 
just in general like honestly it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's like quote unquote women's soap just 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 use soap get some i i don't i don't like it's 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 okay it's good to smell nice i just don't think guys should be scrutinized for smelling like shea butter and cocoa butter and essential oils i know guys that are like you know, women's soap, it smells so good. Like, like so, so good. But they feel like they can't use it because if they do, it'll hurt their masculinity. And it's like, why does that hurt them? When literally there are people out here that won't even touch soap and, and, and it's causing issues. It's causing issues everywhere. I just needed to get this off my chest. And I needed you to listen in case you were a victim of this issue and and anybody else out there who feels like they can't use a certain type of soap or soap in general because if not it'll hurt their it'll hurt their image or their reputation or something like that which doesn't make any effing sense because you might like the smell of must and outdoors and sweat and and hard work labor but me personally if I want to smell the outdoors I can just step outside right now line um one day i think we should all just like come together as a collective and decide like you know like put some men on to like some some really good soaps i have some i i i have some really good body scrubs perfumes lotions air fresheners all of that stuff like there's nothing wrong with that comment some really good soaps down below because i think we need to start helping each other out more comment good soaps good lotions just, just all that just Comment anything that smells good. Anything that smells remotely good, okay? I'm so glad we addressed this issue. I'm so glad we addressed this issue. I, I'm just, I just needed to bring this, I needed to bring this to the table. I needed, I, I needed to bring this to the table. I needed to bring this to you. And now that it's been brought, let me know, let, let me know your thoughts. Like, like what, like what, what do we do? Like what, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Because I don't know anymore. I, I don't know anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this video. If you made it to the end, that is. Um, if you liked it, please let me know by liking this video, leaving a comment, and of course, subscribing to my channel. And of course, don't forget to check out some of my other videos as well. I will see you guys next time with another video. Have a great morning, slash afternoon, slash evening, slash whatever time you watch this. And I thank you for doing so. Bye-bye!